Hello and welcome everybody to Fall Harbor Drive Time. Today we want to have a closer look at the different Fall Harbor motor technologies and find out how we can select the most suitable motor. We will have a look on the characteristics of the different motor types and see what effects, for example, environmental conditions or service life expectations have on the choice of technology. To get started, we have a short look on the motor types. All Fall Harbor motors are designed to work in miniature drive applications. Lightweight drives with high efficiency. Main feature of the Fall Harbor DC motors are the precious metal or copper graphite brushes and the ironless, self-supporting copper winding. Thanks to this design, the motor comes with extremely low rotor inertia, a unique dynamic behavior and no detent torque. Second, there are the brushless DC motors in slotless design for high dynamics applications. These motors have no brushes, commutation is done electrically here. Last but not least, Fall Harbor offers also stepper motors. By design, these motors do have a detent torque and also electrical commutation. Very important for our selection is the lifetime expectation in the application. Life of a DC motor is limited by the brushes, the commutation system and the bearings. High speeds and high currents reduce the lifetime of the motor, as well as, for example, vibrations in the application or regular changes of direction. To achieve a longer lifetime, we can select a BLDC or a stepper motor. Lifetime of these motors is only limited by the bearing life, which can be predicted pretty good. A typical ball bearing life is several 10,000 hours. But longer is not always better. Sometimes the motor needs to last only a thousand hours. So a brush motor is the better fit and a brushless solution might be oversized. Another important criteria to select the motor technology is the speed and torque range needed in the application. If the application requires a lower speed range, for example, five to 8,000 RPM, then a DC motor or a stepper motor are most suitable. On the other hand, if you need speeds up to, for example, 70,000 RPM, then a brushless DC motor is the one to choose. In case you need higher torque and or lower speeds, you can think about adding a gearhead. For more details, you can have a look into our how-to video for gearheads. If we now think about the motor operation and how to control them, the DC motors are the easiest solution. Just connect the two wires to your voltage supply or battery and the motor will run. By changing the applied voltage, the motor speed will change. For more complex tasks, a controller is needed. If we have a look on the brushless motors, a controller is needed in any case. As you can see, we need a lot of wires to connect the motor faces and hall sensors to get the motor running. For stepper motors, you still need a controller to operate them, but for simple speed control operation, a simple controller is sufficient to get the motor spinning. Only for complex positioning tasks, a more powerful controller is needed. Now, let's move on and have a look on the ambient conditions. Depending on the application, some motor types are more suitable than others. For example, it's no good idea to use a DC motor in an explosive environment, as the brush sparks may lead to an explosion. A BLDC or stepper motor with electrical commutation is the better choice in this case. Often, modifications to the standard products are needed to meet the special requirements of some ambient conditions. These are various options like extended temperature range or vacuum lubrication available. Check out the product datasheet for more details. Other modifications are available on request. In general, brushless DC and stepper motors are easier to modify to make them work in challenging ambient conditions. As a conclusion, what are the most relevant criteria to select the motor technology? Well, if a long lifetime is needed, then brushless motors and stepper motors have significant advantages. If an easy operation and low cabling effort is important, then DC motors are the best option. 
In the end, also economical considerations play into the decision. If you still have questions, please reach out to our experts. We will support you to find the most suitable drive for your application. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other drive time videos and if you like, leave a comment down below. See you again soon, take care and goodbye.